This is just a quick thought from Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to say this to you guys who tend to be critical of other people. Be careful how critical you are and how you verbalize it. You can cause other people to look down on people they may have previously respected highly. Just because of your mouth, your little critical statements, everything does not have to be lined up with your taste, your style, or your ways. So you have to watch what you say about people. I knew a woman that was very critical of how people looked. And here's the comical part. She had nice clothes. She had a pretty car. She had a pretty house. But guess what? Her face looked like a bulldog. And she was the most critical person. I couldn't believe it. I'm thinking, well, have you looked in the mirror lately? So we have to be careful how critical we verbalize our opinions. You know, well, you know, you really need to lose another 50 pounds. Or, you know, if you weren't so short, you could wear the nicer clothes, but you can't wear those kind of clothes. They wouldn't look right on you. Mm, what are you doing? That is not what the Bible calls edifying. Can't just tear people down because you have an opinion. Think about that. Because in all honesty, if you really dug deep, part of you wants to hurt their feelings. Part of you wants them to feel badly about themselves. Because you are insecure. You have issues. And there's something about you that gets a little charge over hurting other people. So you just have this... Uh, fashion police working inside of you where every time you see something that doesn't line up with your standards, you must verbalize it and let it be heard. And you have to say it in such a way where it really carries that sting. But now what you don't realize is you look in the mirror and you see the best of you. Other people look at you, they see the worst because the worst is steadily spewing out of you, steadily oozing out of your negative personality. You don't see that. Because in your book, hey, you're all that and a bag of chips. Listen to what Bill Withers says about people like that. I love this expression. Listen. You like the sun Yeah, that tells it like it is right there. While you looking at monkey, monkey looking dead at you, you got so much to say about what everybody else is doing wrong. And you have yet to arrive. Think about it. Think about it before you get to, to hugging and kissing yourself too much. You know what the Bible says about that? Don't think so highly of yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to do a loose quote, a real loose quote. The same way you're judging other people is the exact same way God's going to judge you. I'm telling you. And guess what? People are judging you the same way you're judging them. You got to be very careful about how you treat people, about how critical you are about all the things you t intend to fix in everybody else's life while your stuff doesn't stink. <clears throat> I beg to differ with you. Yeah, your stuff is foul, baby. And it hurts way too many people. Keep it to yourself, okay? I hope you take that in love. I mean it in love. Some of us just have to be put in check. And I'm checking, just like I've been checked. God bless you.